Item Number SCP-2716 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2716-1 is to be held in an airtight Class 3 containment vault at Site-98. Testing requires the approval of the Site Director. Lunar Containment Area 13 has been built on the Mare Tranquillitatis in order to contain SCP-2716-2. SCP-2716-2 is to be held in a standard security locker. Testing requires the approval of Site-98's Director. Lunar Task Force Alpha-29, Discovery Hunters, is to locate and retrieve SCP-2716-2 following its displacement events. Martian Containment Area 01 has been built on the Amazonas Planitia in order to contain SCP-2716-3 and to monitor anomalous activity on the planet Mars. A 5 by 2 by 2 meter containment chamber has been built around SCP-2716-3. The Foundation shall liaise with NASA and ESA in order to halt explorations, manned or unmanned, of the Mare Tranquillitatis and or the Amazonas Planitia. Description: SCP-2716 is a set of three interconnected anomalies. SCP-2716-1 is an orange L807 type windsock standing at approximately 3 meters tall. SCP-2716-1 constantly rotates as though a strong wind is blowing in the direction of SCP-2716-2, even in the complete absence of wind. This wind speed appears to be between 10 and 12 knots, or 5.14 to 6.17 meters per second. SCP-2716-1 is not influenced by either natural and or artificially produced wind. SCP-2716-1 was recovered from a storage area within Southampton Airport, located in Hampshire, England on 2015. SCP-2716-2 is a metallic statuette bearing vague resemblance to the space shuttle Discovery, measuring 25 centimeters long, located within the Mare Tranquillitatis of the lunar surface. SCP-2716-2 is consistently located 45 centimeters above the ground, and constantly points towards SCP-2716-3, regardless of its location. Every three weeks, SCP-2716-2 will displace from its current location, and reappear at a random point within the Mare Tranquillitatis. SCP-2716-3 is an immobile, equatorial-mounted Keplerian telescope located within the Amazonas planitia of the Martian surface. SCP-2716-3 functions similarly to non-anomalous telescopes. However, SCP-2716-3 exclusively displays what has been subsequently identified as 90482 Orcus, a dwarf planet located within the Kuiper Belt, discovered in 2004. The words Space-tacular are inscribed below each instance of SCP-2716. Addendum 2716-1 Incident 2716-Alpha On 2017, upon further observation of SCP-2716-1, the words Need Help? Press Here were discovered within the object's tube. As per Safety Protocol 34 Sussex, D-6471 was ordered to make physical contact with said text. Approximately 25 seconds later, a blue humanoid automaton vaguely resembling an Orlan spacesuit, referred to as SCP-2716-A, materialized 2 meters from her. The entity subsequently handed D-6471 a transparent orange plate, containing black and purple text, written in Russian, English, Italian, Mandarin, Japanese, and Spanish referred to as SCP-2716-A-1, before dematerializing. The words, Need Help? Press Here, were subsequently found on all instances of SCP-2716. Physical contact with said text gave identical results. Addendum 2716-2 Document 2716-13-SK the following transcript is the English version of the text inscribed on SCP-2716-A-1. Astronaut Smith's Spacetacular Treasure Hunt Hello, Space Cadets. You can call me Astronaut Smith, and I challenge you to join the most stellar treasure hunt in the whole universe. 
Prepare your spaceships and get ready to find all the hints scattered around the Milky Way. From the amazing panoramas of the planet Earth to the ominous Kuiper Belt. Who will be the first one to find the mysterious treasure at the end of this over-the-moon experience? A stylized drawing of the solar system was present below the text. What is believed to be planet Earth was colored in green, while the Moon, Mars, the Kuiper Belt, Pluto, and an area located between Pluto and Eris were colored in red. A black rhomboidal object with a white question mark was present at the end of the drawing. Addendum 2716-3 Notes on Current Status As of 2017, the time and resources required to reach the Kuiper Belt, much less locate additional objects relating to SCP-2716, are beyond our logistical capacities. Keeping in mind the logistical and financial challenges faced in locating in our planet's ocean, attempts at discovering and or recovering potential SCP-2716-4s, 5s, 6s, or others are indefinitely postponed until such a time as further information regarding SCP-2716 and or potential locations of further anomalies relating to SCP-2716 are discovered. Should no further information arise within a your period and the Foundation's technological capacity for efficient deep space exploration expand, explorations into the Kuiper Belt may at that point be authorized. 05-8 That's it for today everyone, thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis Zagrate, Lesby Friends, Scrubversive, Deja Shade, and Max Loves Ears. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.